Morning, everybody. Looking at this passage in John, we see Jesus and his disciples at the home of Lazarus and Mary and Martha. Mary, the one who poured expensive perfume over Jesus' feet, showed what was in her heart by her actions. So what do we know about Mary? What was her backstory? There are similar stories in other Gospels, but John names her. Jesus came to the family home and she listened to what he had to say. She had seen her brother brought back to life after four days in the grave by the command and authority of Jesus. She believed his teaching and believed him to be the Messiah. She knew his compassion and was hungry to know more. She listened to what Jesus had to say and took note of everything. Did she know from the things he had spoken that his death was soon to come? So what was it that motivated her action of extravagant worship? Surely her heart was overwhelmed with gratitude, wonder, love and conviction for who Jesus was. Her focus was on Jesus and nothing was more important, regardless of cost or what people around her thought. What was the resistance? Jesus' comment may have sounded quite reasonable to many there. Did they know he was a thief at the time? Jesus' response puts it into perspective on eternity. First was his compassion towards Mary. Leave her alone. Was this a prophetic act of worship? This is remembered 2,000 years later. And Jesus is anointed for his burial. I often think that the perfume that she used would have lingered on Jesus throughout his trial and subsequent days. We hear people talking about being in the moment, but this was a moment for eternity. What can we learn from this? Firstly, extravagant worship. Mary's heart respond produced action. We know worship is not just singing, it involves our whole lives. Grateful and responsive to all that Jesus is. It uses our talents our time, our money, our homes, and our emotions. Its focus is on Jesus, but out of it comes action. Let us pray for hearts full of worship. What about the resistance? There are voices that say that's a bit much. The cost, the time, what will others think? Then there are doubts. I'm too old. I'm too young. It's not your place. Let us pray. We discern what is God's voice and not the voices of our culture or our fears. And what about our backstory? Let's create a practice being in the presence of Jesus. Read and study his word. Stir up our faith to expect miracles as we see that all that Jesus can do. Bless you.